We're out at the uh, Townsend's farm today to do a energy evaluation of their pump and irrigation system. Uh, we look at the intake of pumps to see whether the size of the pipe is correct whether there's any pressure losses through valves on the both on the inlet and the discharge. Uh, filters are another one where they might be too small and we've got an ongoing energy loss. In a lot of cases where there's been upgrades done we've got uh, pressurised where we've had uh, big gun irrigators that take more pressure uh, and they've adapted the low pressure systems but still using the existing infrastructure there often we find there's a lot of pressure loss through the main line. Uh, hose lengths and sizes are pretty important, That's, there's a lot of energy uh, losses in there that might be able to be changed simply by changing the size of the hose. Um, for example a lay flat hose, four inch opposed to four and a half makes a big difference to the energy cost. At, at various flows. We, when we do these tests we're measuring pressure, flow rate and we measure the uh, electricity consumption. Now we often hear people talk about amps, uh, it's, it's the megalitres or the volume of water that grows the crop so we should always be talking about the kilowatt hours per megalitre of water pumped or the dollars per megalitre uh, pumped because that's the amps, you can easily reduce that simply by putting a smaller pump there, but it may not do the job for you. So you talk, Pat, about um, pressure and the effect of pressure. So what does pressure cost money? What, what are we looking at? Uh, look, this is just an average across the state, and it changes from depending on what tariff that you're on, but basically it's around $1.20 per PSI. Now there are people that are sitting around 80 cents a PSI but generally there's when we take in all the poor systems we're up around that dollar twenty. So wherever you've got a bottleneck in the system uh, you could say that it's a dollar twenty per megalitre for every PSI of pressure that you've lost. Is where where the energy is expanded, that's obviously where the cost comes from. And essentially you're just looking to um, ensure you've got a nice clean run of fluid into the pump and then out from the pump in the easiest way possible and you're looking for the nice reducers without any valves and other things on those um, to ensure that they actually got no substantial head loss there and the thing we're going to be doing is using this pressure gauge essentially to map then the pressure loss across from the discharge side of the pump to the inlet side of the pump and we've actually got a, a gauge set up down here on the inlet side of the pump and that gives us the pressure head component of the total dynamic head across the pump from this gauge down here to this point here and we'll actually just go around then when we've got things running and put that on there and be able to understand the, the, the pressures that we've got. The other thing we'd like to see typically is a nice sweeping taper or a nice expansion and then a nice rounded sweeping elbow and, a, and as large a valve if we need one, as large a valve as possible before we go onto the main line. So in this circumstance we've got a range of situations where there's, if this gate valve is fully open we won't have a lot of head loss but the diameter of it is quite small and so we've potentially got a bit of head loss through this part of the system here. Um, and we're going to do a, we've got a pressure measurement point here which will tell us about the pressure downstream of this gate valve. Um, so we can actually have a look at some of those losses or, or bottlenecks in the system and understand what's... The other one is these rises. Sometimes we find there's a lot of pressure loss there because uh, there might have been a hole saw used to go into the pipe rather than cutting a, a V opening, particularly if they're the Gibbolt type T's. So you can have a minor pressure loss there and then we've got pressure losses all the way, some of them you can't do much about uh, through the hose and this one wouldn't have a great deal of pressure loss there I wouldn't think. And with a hard hose machine you'll have you know, a fair bit of pressure loss from the this reel to the gun as well. So Pat, you spoke about pressure losses, can you just recap again about the price per megalitre to pump? 
per PSI. But basically it's around $1.20 per PSI. Now there are people that are sitting around 80 cents a PSI but generally there's when we take in all the poor systems we're up around that $1.20. So wherever you've got a bottleneck in the system uh, you could say that it's $1.20 per megalitre for every PSI of pressure that you've lost.